Right, so welcome to Check Out Travel with myself, Giles, and uh, Travel Made Simple. So today I've got a very special guest. I'm here with Fiona from uh, Beachcomber Tro Beach Hotel. Um, she's head of uh, guest relations, and uh, just very fortunate to to have this opportunity to chat to her. This is an amazing five-star resort hotel in Mauritius on the west coast, and uh, yeah, just very excited to to be here. Um, Fiona, so yeah, I don't know if you'd like to just tell me, you know, what, what it is about uh, this hotel that makes it so special. You know, what what do the guests, you know, what what is the feedback that they, you know, give you that you know makes them sort of choose this hotel over other five star hotels. So um, first of all, um, the feedback that we've got from our guests is that Provis is known as the most uh, one of the most romantic hotels in uh, the islands and especially for the beach and uh, the lagoon as well because as you can see the lagoon is quite clear and especially for the gardens most of our guests when they come here they say you have a beautiful gardens greens everywhere flowers and so on and also for the service that we gave um, with um, this is the feedback from the guests our hospitality uh, the Mauritian people were smiling welcoming and so on. We have lots of honeymooners, lots of wedding um, wedding guests, wedding clients, especially from South Africa, which come with uh, the family to celebrate the wedding. I've been here for six years. I've been celebrating I don't know how many weddings from South Africa, yeah. and um, especially for this, and also lots of families with the kids, and uh, for the activities, the water sports activities, everything that we can offer. Um, uh, that can please yeah. them and once they are here they've got the service they always want to come back they said this is one thing definitely i'm going to come back so yeah that's it's, it it's it's funny because i've always i've been here this is my third time that i've been here yeah. and every time i've been here I've, I've always and we've stayed here before i've always got the impression that it's while the facilities for the kids and the families are great it's been a little bit more orientated towards honeymooners couples yeah. but coming here this time where i think it's the european uh, school holidays uh, i mean it's uh, i can my whole perception has changed completely because it's uh, i've just seen so many families and so many kids and it's you know definitely kind of orientated to actually yeah. everyone you know so it is ad adapted for uh, several uh, let us say uh, types of clients so it depends on the season as now it is the holiday because our main market comes from the Europe, South Africa, and now we're starting from Asian. Yeah. So when it is school holidays, so you will see lots of children everywhere. We actually, yesterday the statistic I didn't see for today, yesterday the statistic for uh, the teenagers was 51 kids in the hotel oh, wow. actually. Yeah. So it, de it really depends on the seasons. Like for, for May, it is wedding almost every day. Yeah wedding uh, we organize wedding only on weekdays and uh, we do renewal of vows on the weekends as well so it is weddings every day so it really depends on the season like as for november we are going to have lots of honeymooners from china so it just depends on, yeah, the, time of on the time and the yeah. season of the year when, when is the best time to come here because i came here in may with the, yeah on that trip and the weather was amazing the weather's been amazing now it hasn't been too hot is there is there a sort of real optimal sort of time to come here? So sort the of best time? I mean, so for me, the best time is now. Let's okay. say end October and beginning beginning of November. It's not too cold, not too hot. The weather is fine. Like in May, it is winter. So sometimes you will have uh, the, the weather will be cloudy, rains and so on. For me, the best period is now because Normally, um, uh, our our clients when they come here, they're looking for the sun so that they can enjoy on the beach and so on. So, for yeah. me, the best period is now. Wow. And uh, I don't know if you'd like to just tell me about your restaurants. You know, like while we've been here, we've eaten the most amazing food. But uh, perhaps just yeah, we have of, yeah. we have quite a, a big choice. We have six restaurants in the hotel. The main one, which is the Oasis with the buffet. So breakfast, American breakfast, light lunch and dinner, theme dinner every night. We have our Indian uh, restaurant with an Indian chef open for dinner. 
um, the Thai restaurant Blue Ginger opened only for dinner as well with a Thai chef. International, uh, which is La Caravel on the other side, you can see overlooking the sea. It's amazing to have lunch there, breakfast as well, and dinner at night. We have lots of our regular guests who prefers La Caravel. They can uh, be here for, let's just say, one week, and for the whole week, they're going to have dinner at La Caravel, and yeah. they have um, they, they know the people, they are men on and so on. So this is the name that you will see very often, and trip advisor and everything. So for the is that the most well, popular restaurant? Yeah, right yeah, there? La Caravel, okay. La Caravel, the international. You yeah. know, sometimes people they don't like spicy food, so they won't go for uh, either the Thai or yeah. the Indian. So they are most adapted because La Caravel is international fine dining. So you will find everything that uh, it is in international. But the, the change is that you have a Mauritian touch with, yeah. so that's make the difference. And then the last one is our Italian restaurant, Il Corallo, which is nice as well, open only for dinner. So yes, when you come here, if you if you are here for a week, so definitely you're not going to eat the same thing for the whole week. And the menu as well, like uh, La Caravelle, you have a, a, a big uh, a la carte, as you could see. As well for the Indian and the, um, the Thai restaurant, the menu changes every three days. So you can go there today and after three days when you go there, it is another menu that you're going to have. So quite, quite a good choice, yeah. yes. I mean, we ate at the Indian restaurant, uh, which was about three days ago. I mean, we had the most amazing chicken. It was so tender. <laughs> the curry. And as usual, I had more than I should have. But uh, <laughs> it, was, it was so good. And then at the Mediterranean, at the Deck uh, restaurant, um, just the most amazing exactly. fish. So it was, and we actually cancelled La Car Caraval to come to the deck, but based on what you're saying, maybe we need to go rebook back there and go there tonight because it's our last night. Have so. you eaten there? No, not yet. Not yet, yeah. so you can, so you can go for it. You can go for it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, just the water sports, I mean, I see. Uh, I see the turtles, the turtles are quite a yeah. popular sort of thing at the moment. Yeah, um, yeah. And, uh, and obviously all the water skiing and the sailing and uh, you know it's all included as part of the package. Yeah, all so the water really sports good. except the deep sea fishing yeah. that's organised with our beach combat tools representative Motuko um, and uh, the diving, the diving centre which is found behind La Carabe. They are the only two um, water sports activities that are with the September. Yeah. Okay. And otherwise you can have kayak, pedalo, gloss button board, snorkeling, water skiing, all of them they are included at the booth house yeah. here. Yeah. So okay. yeah, that's great. I think uh, as a family destination you just can't beat Mauritius. It's it's just so perfectly <laughs> suited to two families. And I think what's so nice about this hotel is that it's a big property. Yeah. And yet you know, you know, and it's busy, but and yet you then never you feel get this you never feel overcrowded exactly. you know, because the hotel is quite big. We yeah. have in total six crescents, and each crescent we have our uh, common pool. Yeah. So if the guests don't want to come down here, they can stay at uh, at the uh, common pool in the middle of the crescents. We have the um, beachfront suites, either the beachfront and the senior. They have their own pool. At the villa, they have their own pool as well, so we have lots of quite enough space in yeah. the hotel so that you don't feel, even if we are 800 guests, you don't feel overcrowded. Uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, and the restaurant as well, except on the Tuesdays at <laughs> the main restaurant when we have the Mauritian buffet, you will okay. see that all the guests will come here yeah. because they like the Mauritian yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, yeah, it is, uh, it is quite big so that you can split yeah, yeah yeah that's it and i mean uh, last <clears throat> yesterday we went to the spa we had an hour and a half massage it was unbelievable <laughs> it was really the spa really this is but, one thing once yeah. you are here you don't want to get out no, because no. it is so it is so <laughs> a pussy there yeah you're lying I, there i call it i call it our paradise of trovish yeah. because once you're here amazing yeah the pool overlooking uh, it's, it's very amazing. special yeah so that's about it. Yeah, thank you so much. I really Thanks appreciate you. your time. Thanks and, to you. Thanks uh, for your support. Yeah, and, yeah. and hope uh, to see you back again. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks very much. And we'll check to you soon.